the Chapman ML3 Modern Standard. This one's got two humbuckers, satin finish. I don't know if there's any other guitars around this price point that have a satin finish. Just feels so much better when you're playing. It's got an ebony fretboard, satin back of the neck. It's got a C-shaped neck profile. It's got a 13 and a half inch radius. Bit of a random number, but it feels fantastic to play, so who cares? It's also got a rolled fretboard. Not so rolled that it feels, you know, your hand slips off and the string goes off the edge, but played in rolled. Also, Chapman fret ends. They are some of the best fret ends on the market, if I'm being completely honest. They're just really nicely rounded. It's got 24 frets. One of the benefits of having 24 frets, I don't go up this end, but what it does, it moves the neck pickup back about two centimeters, so almost an inch, about that much, which makes it, with a humbucker, a little bit brighter, which you kind of want with a humbucker. It stops it getting muddy, although these aren't covered, so not that it makes much difference having a covered humbucker, but you get a bit more brightness, less muddiness. Chapman tuners. They look really nice. Even the headstock, this satin finish with the silver. Graf Tech nut, it looks so smart. This looks different to, um, they used to have a glossy front. I've got a Chapman standard there. It used to have a glossy front. This satin with the uh, silver writing on it. That looks so good. Right, the body, the body is alder. It's got reveal binding. It's got nice calves, a spoon cut. So you've got your gut cut, your arm contour, spoon stuff. Again, I don't go up here. I just think it looks a bit cooler. It's got an alder body with an ash veneer. Coil splits, which is cool volume tone, three-way switch. These are the Chapman Sonorous Zero pickups. They've got ceramic magnets, 10.5K ohms in the neck, 12.5K ohms in the bridge. So bridge should be a little bit more powerful to have a bit of a kick to it. Right, let's play some tunes. I'm not really going to use a capo. Right, this is the neck pickup. Listen to that split. I'll play the same thing just so you've got a comparison. Oh, that satin finish feels so nice. Right, middle position, full fat power. Split. And the bridge, let's put a bit of drive on. and full fat flavour. actually. Let me just check the tuners. Okay, yeah, these feel better than the old Chapman tuners, so they must have upgraded them. 18 to 1 ratio, these feel fantastic. Right, let's have a rummage around the insides, just how your mum likes it. Sorry, just while I'm undoing this, the through body strings, that's really neatly done. Now, I've made guitars and I've done the through body holes. I know there's templates and jigs for it, so it's all neat. 
But on a lot of guitars it isn't neat, and on all of mine it isn't neat, all the ones I've done. So I know how difficult it is even when you've got the right tools and the right jigs. That's very smart. Oh, we've got, okay, good quality parts. We've got a full size tone pot, we've got a good quality switch. Uh, push pull looks nice. I don't see any resistors, so that suggests when you coil split, so these will be 500k pots, which means when you coil split, the single coils might sound a bit bright, but they didn't, so let's just... I don't think that sounds too bright at all, which is quite clever, actually. I don't know how they've done that. I'd put resistors on it. Well, there's clearly some magic going on because they don't sound too bright when it's split. Really nice job, really nice. Like, there's no junk in the cavity. Sometimes you open these and it's just <laughs> full of dust to the point where you think, how on earth did they spray it? Because if it's full of dust, that dust goes all over the finish. And there's no, you can't feel any dust in the finish, so. Who knows? I've got to be honest, I'm really impressed by this. With the old Chapman standard range, I found them a little bit, they were good, they just didn't really excite me. But these, like if you unbox this, this is really cool. It just feels better. They've clearly changed factory and just upped their game a bit. I still obviously prefer the Pro range, but there are a good few hundred more, but you get stainless steel frets and stuff on that. But if this is all you can afford, or you just want more guitars, which I fully understand, this is amazing. There's no imperfections on this at all. And what I love about Chapman guitars is they bring you the most amount of guitar for the least amount of money. And I also like the fact that people are copying Chapman ideas, so a lot more brands are doing stainless steel frets. I know it was always a thing, but Chapman sort of brought it to the masses. Also, rolled fretboards. I swear Chapman were the first brand to do this on like guitars that cost three or 400 quid or 500. I can't remember what they were at the time because inflation's gone mental but everyone else is sort of copying their ideas now. <laughs> so I think they've sort of changed the industry with bringing these things, obviously they cut out the distributor so they could bring you more guitars for less, which originally did have some problems, but now that's all lined out. What a guitar, what an amazing guitar. The Chapman ML3 Modern Standard with double humbuckers. Check out this video on the Chapman ML1X a lovely guitar. So HSS, it's more your S-type, so it's like a Strat. I did have the ML1 Pro, honestly one of the nicest guitars I've ever played, so it's sort of the budget version of that. I don't know if it's a limited edition run, I should probably ask them, but they're just amazing guitars for the money.